Real quick, I want to share with you my top five weirdo sci-fi succulents here in our greenhouses at Mountain Crest Gardens. So first up, we have this little beauty. This is Sinocrassula or Sinocrassula unanensis. And I love the form of this plant, but also its coloration. It's such a dark green that it's nearly black. And it's got this fun leaf shape to it. Also, this species is one of the more likely varieties to crest. So that means it goes cristate and it forms kind of a fan-like lengthening linear form to it. So that's number one. Next up, not everyone loves this texture, but I am a huge fan. This is Titanopsis calcarea, also known as concrete leaf. And it has this very rough, bumpy texture, like it's growing dragon skin. And it uses that to hide among the limestone in its native South Africa. And this one can get kind of blue tones, but also pinks when it's getting stressed by drought or sun. And so it's got a great camouflage to it, but it gives itself away when it blooms because it gets lots of these little yellow kind of daisy-like flowers to it that are quite sweet. Next up. Uh, if ever there was a viral plant in this one, Buddha's Temple, Crassula Buddha's Temple, is such a stunning variety. It's got this incredible symmetry to it and geometry. And if I look too long at it, I get the optical illusion and it kind of makes me nauseous, but I also can't look away. So that is just uh, forever a stunning little, little form of a plant. Number four. Senecio scoposis. Now I believe it's Caputia scoposis, but it is a really cool plant because it has this woolly kind of felted covering to its leaves. And the leaves are normally this green bean shape, but you can see a couple of these have gone even weirder and are sort of conjoined. And the other cool thing about this is it grows kind of like a snake that's molting its skin. So you can see the felty covering is splitting right there where the leaves have grown bigger. So that's totally healthy and normal. And this one's actually a pretty good one for people who are new to succulents because it's very good at showing you when it's thirsty. It'll go a little bit wrinkled and thirsty looking. And then last but not least, for a bit of color, we have Aloe Purple Haze. And this is a gorgeous cultivar. I love the contrast between the kind of lilac lavender of its leaves and then this pink toothy margin to it. So this is a really bumpy variety, but still gentle to touch. And you can see this particular one has a pretty impressive bloom stock going on. And in addition, it's a prolific variety. So you can see it clustering like this. So this one will have lots of new babies that you could pull off and reroute elsewhere. And there you have it, all five of my top five sci-fi succulents. And I hope maybe some of those were new to you or also feel free to share your favorite weirdo plants with me in the comments. Thanks, bye.